So, hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening. Whoever and wherever you are, hello for you. Uh, I still don't have my phone on me. And, uh, well, I can assure you I'm going to be coming back here a few more times over the summer. Uh, I mean, we've got that lovely smell of spring in the air at the moment. I adore that first smell of spring. The cut grass sort of smell. It's, oh, it's glorious. When you come out of that wintry blues because I like the cold right don't get me wrong I like winter the idea of it but when it actually comes down to the snow the frost and everything I hate that part I'd rather it just be cold so uh, that first smell of spring is just like a sign of things to come and it is for lack of a better term just absolutely magnificent Burnt wood in winter is one of my favourite smells, but burnt wood in uh, spring. <clears throat> I'm a strange person, I know. I apologise, kind of. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> so I'm just trying to work out what the uh, quickest way home is from here. I know which road I need to take, but I don't quite know how to get there unless I go through the main town. And that's going to take longer. That's going to be like the longest part of the journey. Because every other road is going to be uh, quicker. And so we go through the uh, small town part, don't we? The back end of this area, out into some open fields. Lovely bubbly. And uh, speed limits aren't too restrictive. I love it when people do this as well, when they go over the chevrons back there. There's plenty of room for you to turn. You don't have to go over the chevrons. In fact, especially for us motorcycle riders as well, you go over the chevrons, who knows what kind of debris can be in there. Usually there's gravel, stones and uh, whatnot, but if you've got construction going on, then all kinds of like screws or pins, you know, just little things like that. That's why I try and avoid going on the old uh, striking white lines, because I just... It's, uh, it's almost just like asking for it. Uh, I've seen some really absolutely breathtaking uh, sunrises recently. Um, I ended up going home early from work and I went to uh, my local pharmacy. Picked up a few bits and bobs, cold medicine, flu medicine, that kind of stuff. And um, as I came out the uh, shop, the entire sky was just lit up in some like deep red, orangey glow. It was absolutely phenomenal absolutely smash um, <laughs> one better from there absolutely fabulous um, it's one thing I want to capture on camera truly because it's just such a breathtaking sight to see that deep uh, deep deep colour come from the uh, sunrise and uh, I actually googled it to see what causes it and uh, a lot of uh, sources point towards impending storms which would make sense over the last few weekends that we've had of the terrible weather also down to pollution as well and the um, uh, particles in the air just refracting reflecting whichever word you want to use uh, dispersing would be another one light differently to normal so for example here um, if you take a picture or if I can get like a decent view of the sky towards where the sun is there you go not quite. Basically what I'm trying to make out is when you look at the sky, it's blue. Of course it's blue. That's how we perceive it. But um, I've learnt this from painting as well. But uh, it's, ama it's amazing what you learn just by looking at stuff for a long time. As you look out towards where the sun is, especially below the sun, the empty space there, the sky just looks white. And when you go further and further away, the lighter things become and the less detail that you see. And uh, I know this is a motorcycle channel, <laughs> but um, this, this kind of stuff just uh, intrigues me to no end, especially when you get into the whole video recordings and such and such. You start playing around with cameras and you paint and you, you start getting ideas and such. That's a terrible place to park, quite frankly. 
but you start to notice this stuff and you start seeing the beauty in nature and yeah I'm not going to start prattling on about environment and all that kind of stuff although it is important uh, I kind of ruined my own sentence there haven't I never mind but um, when you start looking at things you start to see colour you start to see depth of field and uh, if that's even the right term for it I really want to get past this lorry but you start noticing things and it's it's breathtaking and it's one thing um, I think I took for granted when I've been on like major holidays to Cyprus and uh, especially the recent one to the US because I just I didn't do any time lapses out there I didn't have the uh, the capacity to in Cyprus and the, I didn't think about doing it in the US there's plenty of opportunities looking back on it uh, that's all memory card space and battery life and so on and so forth we, we had time but uh, just just never got around to doing it and I kicked myself for it so that's one thing I want to promise if I do go back out to the US I will get some more time lapses Carpley I hope you're ready mate <laughs> every time we stop for lunch or something it's gonna be me breaking out a spare camera hi just gonna do a time lapse <laughs> while we're having something to eat uh. Alright, how fast do we need to get off the mark here? Not too fast, but I'm on a motorcycle, so... Oh, feels good. Always feels good. Doesn't feel good when you stop going one of these, though. And there's another one up front! Look at this! Terrible! So, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll leave the video there. Have yourselves a lovely, lovely weekend. Enjoy, as usual. And uh, until next time, because the rest of the roads I've got on the way home are just going to be like this, just high speed and in the microphone. So, have yourselves a lovely weekend, enjoy, and as always, ta for now.